Today we are finally doing a rebuild in South Africa. Yes, you guys have asked for it for ages. It's Orlando Pirates versus the Kaiser Chiefs. Omega Luke versus Omega Dad. However, recently South Africa has been dominated by the Sundowns. So can one of our teams regain the power in South Africa? And here is your reminder how points are won and lost in versus rebuilds. Well, Dad. Yeah. We're finally in South Africa. Yeah, you've all been asking for it, so here we are. Yeah, exactly. Just like another brief history of the South African leagues, we're shocked to see that Mamelodi Sundowns have won it six times in a row recently. Yeah. They might have even won it a seventh because we're not using the updated database for this. There isn't one for South Africa. Uh, you came second in runners-up place there. Um, I was nowhere to be seen, but even the year before, like... I always remember growing up, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs were the two big teams. Yeah. So the fact that neither of them have been, you know, winning anything since Kaiser Chiefs in 2015 is a bit of a shock to me. Yeah, definitely, yeah. However, there is three different cup competitions in South Africa. Uh, we decided that we can't tell which one is like a... The like, FA Cup. Yeah, or the... We're just going to count all three. Yeah. And also, of course, there's the African Champions League and the African Confeder Confederations, which is basically the African Europa League, which you're in the, the first year. Yes, yeah. I'm not in anything in the first year because of, obviously, this. Because we Big, big chance of taking advantage, yeah? It does indeed. Yeah. Uh, or you might be in the African Champions. I can't work it out. I will we'll find out. But there's a lot, we're just lots scoring of for every cup, the competition that we're in, though. Yeah, there's a lot of points to be won in this. This could easily break the record for the highest points tally ever because there are so many cup competitions. We just got to hope that Sundowns aren't as dominant as what they have been. Yeah. We've already tried chipping away at them by signing some of their players, starting off with Dad, who signed two of them. Uh, you got Mashengo. Uh, the first guy that came in here, who's a left back. Yeah. And then you've also got Mukilsi. And uh, we are not going to get any was, of these names right. It was a right. good attempt, mate. I'll tell you that was. Yeah, we're not going to get any of these names right. We're going to call them this guy and that guy. This fella here. <laughs> uh, this centre mid. That's what this whole video is going to be about. Because we can't pronounce some of these names. Uh, we could barely pronounce some of the English names. So here we go. Right. So you signed two of their players already. Yeah. Not a lot of money, just 300k. But you've put it into a tactic here where you've got two guys nailed in, Masele and Tim, who is going to a ball winning midfielder and an attacking midfielder. I don't know if this league's going to work out, so I've just gone attacking to see if I can try and do something in this mm -hmm. league. So that's what I've gone for, yeah. All right. So let's have a flip we'll say on to well, the other really side. We have so many foreign players as well. So we'll Five <laughs> non-South African players. I that's he, it. I know they dropped out of his seat when you told me, didn't Yeah. <laughs> Only allowed five non-South African players. Outside of that, they all have to be South African. And the work permits are really strict from what we've seen yeah. so far. So anyway, we got I got Makoto here, CDM, good player. And I've got Marema, who's also come in. He was a striker. I tried going for a player. The work permit took three weeks and it was rejected. <laughs> <laughs> so outrageous. <laughs> Thinking, when is this player coming in? So there we go. Now, the transfer window does open until like mid September, but we just decided we're going to go to the normal time frame and just kill it from there. I'm going with those two signings with a very narrow 4 2 3 1. So I've got quite a lot of good attack midfielders. I'm not nailing anybody in in this first season. You can already see one of my players go straight in there. I've got like two or three okay strikers, but none that's like really stand out. Like this is the guy that's going in there to begin with. He's like really fast, but can't finish so Marema who I did bring in who I have been playing in the games has got five goals already but he doesn't go into the starting 11 so we'll see how that ha how that plays out going forward uh schedule then it's been okay for me I've, I've drawn against obviously the best team in the league the champion sundowns and I've also drawn in this semi-final first leg against Stellenbosch now this is the first competition the MTN8 which I'm guessing is the top eight from the Premier Division go against each other. That's yeah. what it seems to be at this point. Uh, but if you're from South Africa, and there surely is a lot of you there because the amount of comments we get to, to, to do a versus rebuild in this division, let us know about it. I want to know the information. So the MTN8 uh, has started kicking off already. I've gone past Cape Town, but now I'm in St against Stellenbosch in the semi-final. The rest of the games I've won quite easily though also we are big fans of the names in this country there are some fantastic team names uh, so you've actually lost to sundowns in yes. the league 
Yeah, a bit disappointed with that. Four two. Pitched two of their players. Yep, you drew to Swallows. Yeah, and you also then beat Sundowns three 0 in the semi final first leg. So happy with that. Yeah, it, it, very I had to win that game being home as well. So yeah, uh, you beat Golden Arrows and you beat this team here. I probably won't try and pronounce, but they got a porcupine on their badge, <laughs> which is great. That's another thing we've noticed. That the badges are brilliant. The like, badges are fantastic. Yeah. Um, my team. By the way, for everybody who would not be interested, I guess, to be honest. But Super Sport United, when I did my first ever Pentagon Challenge, was the team I was. 2015, I think it was. FM15. That was my team, Super Sport United. So I'll be interested to see if they cause us any troubles as we're going forward. But there we go. Right, okay. So that's the start of the our campaign so far. But you're going to have to keep up because there are so many points that, 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 can, that can be won. Because we might come up against each other so many times. You can see we've only got two league games but there's so many cups that we're involved in let's see if we can keep up season one let's simulate it first season and the barons spell i only lost That's three games, broken but yeah you only but lost I only one marema's so my top scorer as well kaiser chiefs are champions and as you can see from this it wasn't close either by seven sundowns points in the middle sundowns in 70 points there yourself on 65 i, I lost one game away. 12 points adrift to you one even chipper close. united chipper united was the team that beat me uh sundowns lost two they beat i beat them in one of the games and you lost three dad one of them was to be which means we probably drew the other game we did so that's four points for me winning the league one for beating you so it's a good start for kaiser chiefs yeah nice now how we picked the team i gave dad the orlando pirates because they were put it to finish high and we seen that they obviously had won well they come second in the league last season and i was kaiser chiefs just because off the back of that really but there we go so you got the top scorer of the league dad in mac gopo Gopa, who is actually leaving on a free transfer now. Yeah. So that's a good start. Peterson, my goalkeeper, did get the most clean sheets. You also was up there as well. Uh, we're on Kaiser Chiefs, though. I wasn't in any, like, continental competitions, like the African Champions League or Confederations. How did I do in the other cups? Ooh, I've won one. I've won the NTM 8, which I feel like is the worst one out of the three. Then there's the Ned Bank Cup and the Telecom Knockout. And the Ned Bank Cup, I was runner-up. We won't click on that because it might be against Dad. Uh, but the winner of the MTN 8 against Orlando Pirates, which is another point for beating you in the final. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I just and can't wake up tonight. points for winning it. <laughs> unlucky now the history of this competition it did seem to go on for a while like this yeah. is a competition that went on since 1972 so it's yeah it's, it's quite like all right fair enough so beat you in the final that one good start here we go that's a good start for me in it but there's two other competitions yeah. that i well, haven't I, won I might be the winner of that one yeah. yeah so let's find out plus yeah i think you're in the african champions league let's find out how you did in that one too oh you did not win a thing Dear, oh dear. Let myself down there. You have. That is a huge opportunity. Now, Sundown's knocked me out. They've also knocked you out of this competition here. So, uh, they went on a nice little run of just knocking us both out of that competition. Mom yeah. was in the first round there. Uh, they went on to win it, no doubt. There we go. In the African Champions League, or the Orange Calf Champions League, as you can Got see the there. Semi-final. Semi-final against ES Tunis, which is a Tunisian side uh, who are one of the favourites to win it every single year. They've won five already. So, they've got some cracking players. You lost to them in the semi-final, unfortunately. And look who went to the final. Yeah. Yeah. Sundowns, but they lost to ES Tunis. So that's again for us to win the the Champions League version. There's the Egyptian sides, there's ES Tunis, there's some big teams in this continent uh, that can cause you trouble. Uh, the Ned Bank Cup, though, Dad, quarter final by Uppington City, who I dare say is not in our league, and they're not. So that is a big, big loss yeah, there. Yeah, definitely, yeah. That is a big loss. So they're in the second division. They didn't even have a badge in my badge pack. So that is very poor from you there. Points-wise, I took a bit of a bit of a big start here. Yeah, you have, yeah. Straight off the bat. Goals, though, you got 34 from Mac Gopa. Of course, he's leaving, though. And um, Mabasa also got 22. Uh, you got a couple of players here, 17 and 10. Not too bad. Miguel Tim. Oh, that's the guy you, obviously, you locked in, Masele. Yeah which is a good, looked to be a good idea, to be fair, because he did all right. Uh, Miguel Tim, not so much. He's also ran out of contract. You might have to nail him down for a, a new one if you want to keep him around. But he did play 49 games for you. Uh, your transfer budget, 
There's not money's not massive in South no. Africa, but two point four million pound. I feel like that's quite a good amount. I'm happy with that because when you're buying the players, they're not expensive. No, right? Not at all. I mean, you t you bought two of Sundown's first team players for less than four hundred k. Yeah. And I know in the past, whenever I like always scout South Africa, they've always got some cracking players that pop up, especially from the two clubs that we are Sundowns and SuperSport. Those are like the four clubs that you can get some cracking players from. They literally have like release clauses of like. 120k. Yeah. And you just like, well, you might not ever get into our first team. I'm just going to buy them anyway because I'll probably sell him for more. So, two million pound is quite good actually. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs then. Let's have a look. See money or goals for me. So, Moray actually got 23. 22 goals come from Shabalala. Now, uh, it's not the Shabalala that from the 2010 World Cup who scored the opening goal of that World Cup and it was a corker. I don't know if you remember that one. No, I don't know. Oh, it was a corker. Left footed, bang, into the top corner. All I remember, I think it was Peter Jury go, Shabalala! Oh, I remember that bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cracking girl. Uh, it's not that. It's just a very common name in South Africa. So Shabalala uh, is up there with 22 goals to me. He's only 19. So there's some good youngsters on this. I mean, look, you pick him up for 550,000. Yeah, he's, he's not bad. At 19. Yeah, he's you, not bad at all. You've got to be looking at that, really, aren't you? Yeah, but don't, because he's my plan. <laughs> all right. Speaking of, like things that you can pick up and buy we now have new shirts now we don't have ours with us just yet but we will be putting in an order but you can have a look underneath this youtube video and there's some new tinker man shirts and mugs for you to buy should you wish so if you want to finally get your hands on a tinker man t-shirt or a tinker man mug then you can do so in my youtube shop you can see send, that just underneath send the video a picture as well if you've got one exactly yes. if you're having a nice little brewski with the yeah. with a cup of tea with, in your uh tinker man mug send us a picture on social media or if you're rocking the t-shirt just you know just be nice, careful it's a nice t-shirt as well I like exactly it. yeah you know if, you, if you've got a partner then i suggest wearing a jumper because the ladies will be Locking you once you start wearing the Tinker Man t shirt. And if you're single, oh, you're welcome. You're getting laid every single time you're wearing that t shirt. So there we go. Guaranteed. All right. So, transfer budget for me, I've only got 648k. But again, as we established, that's, that could be a couple of players. Yeah. I now go into the African Champions League. So the money might go up a little bit more. But okay. Over to season number two. Okay, Dad. Season number two. You yep. started picking up some of Sundown's players again. Couple of free transfers coming in. We've got another sign in here that you took a bit of a gamble on a 20 year old. A few more free transfers coming in, but they're foreign players, which means you have to be registering them as part of your uh, your five. But I do think you had only one foreign player after every player had left yeah. that was running out of contract so you were able to do that quite comfortably because there's another one there for 750k uh, who's a decent striker I was just trying to make sure Sundowns don't come second again so I bought after right, a team yeah get rid of <laughs> all their players uh, you've gone for a 4-2-3-1 this yeah. season uh, the best 11 does look like this you've got La Passa playing up front with Mabasa in behind and that's the standard of player that dad's got there so a couple of players that you've seen that he signed has gone into the starting 11. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this starting 11, actually. I think there's, you could be in trouble here, you know. We'll see. Let's have a look at my transfer window because I actually signed some players from Sundowns as well. Now, not to start off with, but I then picked up a couple of free transfers. Midfielder in there. I've got another one. Actually, that might be the midfielder from last season. It was. Maduna was the first sign I picked up. That's quite a good centre midfielder, but I don't actually think he gets into my first 11. Uh, Polis is definitely getting into my first 11. Although he is a cracking centre attacking midfield player uh, that I picked up from Poliquain City. That seems to be the player that I'm buying players. Yeah. Uh, and then 160k on Lebusa from sundowns who is a left back or left center back nice and easy i'm going the same tactic but this time i'm nailing in shabalala on that left hand side i wanted to recreate that goal from the world cup outside of that i'm happy with the players and, and where everywhere everybody else goes so i'll do best 11 he actually comes out which makes no sense because he did really well for me last season so there we go but apollos actually goes in on that right hand side so that's nice and I'm happy with everybody else. Schedule then. I've played against Dad, and I've lost the first game in the semi-final first leg of the MTN 8 competition. Good start. Yeah, but there's always a second At leg. At your place as well. There's Even always better. a second leg. Uh, the, I'm now, as we mentioned, in the CONCACAF Champions League. Outside of that, I've won every game other than a draw to Amazulu FC. Again, cracking name. Cracking name. Really good. So let's have a look at Dad's then. 
because his looks a little bit different. You've drawn to Sundowns, which yeah. is the only points you I'm have dropped. They're great as well, so I'm happy with that. But you've started kicking ass. 6-1, yeah. 8-0, nil, 7-0 nil in the Confederations preliminary rounds to qualify for uh, the Confederations Cup, which you have. You are, you're about to start playing against this team here. Uh, so outside of that, Dad, you're doing really well. Yeah. Season number two, then, in South Africa, the points... Well, I didn't even tell you the points last season. Let's have a quick refresh of the points before we have a look and simulate season number two. After season one's antics, Omega Luke was on 10 points, but Omega Dad had zero. Cut back to me. Yes, it's 10-0. That's a great start. You can tell we've been doing this for ages, haven't you? <laughs> but season number two, Dad's got a lot to catch up with already. And in normal rebuild terms, 10-0 in the first season is it's game over. Yeah. Not in South Africa. Not, in this one, not no. with free cups. No. Let's simulate season two. Here we go. Kaiser Chiefs are winning again. Yes. What even close to you again? Eight points behind. I only lost three games, which is more than actually last time. 71 points in total, but I am champions. Good to see. Sundowns have dropped down two positions, but Golden Arrows lost all right players, on your they? ass, look. So, ooh, that's mm. a tricky one. Lost three games, Dad. One of them was against you. So you clawed knew, a point back. We knew that one, didn't we? No, that was in the other oh, competition. Oh, yeah, it was in the cup game, wasn't it? Yeah. You clawed one back there. However, I did beat you in the home game. Yeah. So, that goes on top of my four points. That's five points. You get one point straight away there, plus the other point that you got for the other competition. Whether you've knocked me out of that, we'll have to have a look. Uh, Dupreeze was a top scorer for me with 18. That's the guy who can't finish, but has good pace. Uh, Apollos, my new signer, was the highest average rating. You got La Passa in there, Dad, as the second top scorer of the league. Good striker for you. Gilberto seems to be in and around there as well, which is a good winger that you've got with a lot of pace. But both, I know, you're just your keeper. My keeper's not up there. you got an alright keeper as well. Yeah, I have, yeah. We are on Kaiser Chiefs. Obviously, got the African Champions League, got the other cup competitions. How did it get on? Oh! <laughs> I don't care that I lost the MTN8 semi-final against Orlando Pirates because I've got a quadruple. So, Dad, you might have beaten me in that competition. Yeah. But it doesn't look like you've uh, managed to beat me in any of these. Ones, it? No. no. So... The Ned Bank Cup beating this team in the final. So you didn't even get to the final of that one. So that's another three points added on. Telecom knockout. Oh, I beat you in that one, though. It's so two, another point. It's two cup finals you beat me in. And then the Orange Calf Champions League. The African Champions League. To win that in my first season is quite mental, actually. Beat Al Ali, which is one of the big sides in the competition from Egypt. They have won this competition a lot. 11 times, yeah. in fact. They've won the Egyptian League 43 times. Wow. I think, actually, it's either Al Ali or Zamalek, and apologies for your fans, if I do get this wrong, who have won the most competitions in all of their history. Is it? And I think it's Al Ali. Uh, but I managed to beat them in this final. Crossed two legs. They beat me in the second leg, but I beat them in the first leg. So I don't... Are you a fan of two-legged finals? No. Me neither. Awful. Well, finals are final. You just play that one game. That's it. Job done. Yeah, I don't even like two-legged semi-finals. No. Really. In the Champions League, I, I understand it. Yeah. But like FA Cups, like yeah, yeah, just one game, on day, yeah. job the, done, isn't it? The Carabao Cup, where it's across two legs, I mm. think. So. Oh. And I think the worst thing as well that we do in this country is play a semi-final at Wembley. Yeah, that should never happen. No, cup finals. Absolutely. Cup finals at Wembley. Go to neutral, neutral ground. ground. Yeah, but not play at Wembley. Sticking in Villa Park. Yeah, great the atmosphere yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. Villa ain't ever making it, so it don't matter. <laughs> I'm joking, Villa fans. <laughs> yeah. Before you come You're down with the comments. Moment. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Champions League football next year. I'm excited to see how you're doing it. Yeah, good luck. Uh, okay, so it's been a cracking year for me. Let's see how disastrous it really was for Dad. Now, competitions for you, Dad. You didn't even win that cup. But you did win the Europa League of Africa. I'll take that. At least I've won a final. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you beat Zam Zamalek. So I beat one Egyptian side. You beat the other. Yeah. So that's basically the Europa League. South, South Africa is ruling right now over the African Cup. So that's good. You were runner-up in that one, which we already knew about. Ned Bank, you were knocked down by Sundowns. And you lost to Sundowns in that final two. So I lost two finals in total there. Three Season. points just missing out there, really. Yeah. When I'm not getting that far, you should... Be, if you're already knocking me out, you should be... Uh, I've got to win it. Yeah, you got to go on and win it. But you did get five points for the Europa League version of the Africa yeah. Champions League. So the Confederation Cup. So that's good. Still think you're going to be training by quite a lot now. Yes. 26 goals from La Passa. Good amount there. The transfer budget for you is 1.6. That's not too that's bad again. Me. Yeah. My squad, I've got 32 goals from Dupree's. Apollos got 25 and 22, which is quite impressive as well. And my transfer budget, 
was 4.59. Oh, that's Ooh. good. That's what you get when you win the Champions League. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, my finance has gone up quite a lot, as you can see, since I took over because of that Champions League win. Okay. Let's have a look at the points. Okay, after all games are tallied up, season two points are Omega Luke with 19 and Omega Dad with eight, meaning the total points are Omega Luke with 29 and Omega Dad with eight. Now, I know you're thinking, well, the points is like really high. What we're going to do is just not go through each individual fixture between us and we're just going to do that off camera and just count the points all right we've just established what we we, we agreed what the points are each time it's just going to be way too confusing because we play against each other so many times if we get to the last stages of the cups we're just going to breeze over it if it if we mention it we mention it but if we don't don't panic and go oh i didn't see all these points getting out just trust us that we're counting it properly we're against each other it's not like i'm gonna go oh i'm gonna put four extra in there and dad's not gonna see it like just trust us all right that's the how we're gonna do this else is just gonna be way too confusing yeah let's have a look then dad at your transfer window for season number three during the summer you picked up a couple of free signings to begin with here you got uh, a nice little right back coming in got another center midfield or center attacking midfield there from port vale of all places yeah uh, actually it's not a place it's a club uh, they, they don't have, this is true it's not a real place yeah uh, and then a center back in Rusheen de Roik who's come in for 200k from guess who <laughs> uh, <laughs> to buy from <laughs> Fagri Lakai has come in from Amazulu so he's a good striker there again and then this he found good. a beauty Ishmael Diaz yeah. has come in Panamanian which is like my favorite nationality to say <laughs> when they're from it yeah He's, a, he's Panamanian. <laughs> it's class. It's so good. Rolls off a tongue. It does, doesn't it? From Panama, of course. Free transfer that you picked up from this side in Ecuador. But I don't know. Maybe you recognize him from times. I, I, I don't, to be fair. But he uh, he's a cracking player, nonetheless, on Football Manager. So, tactically, you switched Changed it, it up. Changed it a little bit, yeah. Changed it a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the player that's chasing you. The team is chasing you at the moment, isn't it? So, yeah. I've got to try something different. Diaz gets run into the team. Stri main striker. Try to botch up the midfield a little bit make it a bit more harder to beat me all but right still attacking though let's have a look at my transfer window then because it's been quite busy actually i'm quite surprised of how much i've done but then when you see the money i had i kind of had to go for something uh, so ethan brooks comes in from amazulu he's uh, more of like a CDM. Got Grant Margaman, who's, again, kind of the same type of player, like a box-to-box -box midfielder in there. Also picked up a player from Sundowns there. Right back, Neo Rapu, who is a left back. Then we got Mokwana who I spent a bit of money on. He is going to be my main striker. Yes, Tunis. That team popping up again. £1.5 billion pound for Mokwana, but he is South African. Valued quite high, actually, but obviously he was, at, he was in a league where the valuations are a little bit higher than that. Uh, he has already picked up an injury, though, and he's going to be out for two months, which is great. Right? That's that's great. He hasn't scored for me either yet. So. But he did get a 13 and 30 last season in Tunisia. So yeah. Can't complain too much. And then finally, I've got a couple of signings in. I've got a free transfer, uh, a Moroccan centre uh, back, sorry. And finally, Bankol, who is a new goalkeeper. And that is a great goalkeeper. I'm really happy with that one. Yeah, uh, it takes yeah. out one of my foreign roles, but I don't think I'm going to find a South African keeper as good as that no so my tactics keeping exactly the same however there's a new face in there that you might not recognize and it's because zolani williams is a 15 year old south african player who's come through my youth academy now last season as you can see he had only played three three appearances for the youth academy and he did get three assists now i've started playing him this season and he's been doing all right <laughs> like one goal and two appearances it's all right he looks a bit of a baller yeah we're not playing wingers, so I thought early in, just get him into the team. See what happens. I'm enough points ahead to be able to risk 15. playing a 15-year-old. We've got three seasons to make him an absolute beast, an absolute monster. Let's see if that can happen. Uh, schedule then. As you can see, I've been playing quite a lot of games, and this time round, I have beaten Dad in the NTN8 semi-final. 2-0 as well, so I probably will go on to knock you out of that one too. But I did lose my first game in the in the Premier Division to Super Sport. And I also drew the second one to Barocca. So bad start. very bad start indeed. 
uh, because I've only actually won one game in the Premier Division right now. It's currently sat in ninth, and that was against Polyquane, but that's because I've played so many games elsewhere. Like yeah. I'm against uh, Mimosas, who is Ivory Coast. Always check this team as well, by the way. If you've got African nations loaded in terms of players, always check this team because they have some some of the best Ivory Coast uh, youth well, players. Youth rec recruitment. Youth recruitment's good, unbelievable. Yeah, the youth yeah. facilities are good. Uh, so that's definitely another one to check. So I've knocked them out of the next round. So I'm, I'm, I'm going forward in that. But we've got a lot of games against each other coming up very soon. Uh, let's have a look at your schedule, Dad. You've been a little bit different. Outside of the game, I beat you in the cup. You've won every single game. And you are, again, battering teams. Yeah. 3-1 there in the league. 4-1, 4-1. One, one. And then in the uh, qualifications for the African Champions League, 5-0 and 9-0, 6-1 and 4-1. <laughs> Breezing past people. <laughs> At least I'm scoring goals, so yeah. it looked like the tactic's working for me. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the points tally, there's a bit of a gap in it, but again, we've established straight away you can pick up so many points. I picked up 19 points in year two. Dad has a couple of them in a row. I'm still not out of it. You're, you're above me. Yeah. Straight away. So let's find out. Season number three, let's simulate it. Oh, but he can't stop this train. Oh, come on. Guys, the Chiefs winning the league yet again. Let's go. Three in a row. Uh, lost three games. Got I 79 three games points. The drawn games that lost me the, the league. Look. You would have won the league last year, look. I had 71. You got 75 I'm this running season. The lost, drawn, or drew, lost, lost. You did beat me in the league. I only drew one game, which meant I did beat you in the other game. Uh, we knew already knew about that Barocca game, who, which I drew. And look how far down they finished. Neither of us had the top scorer. You had La Passa, who was second. He's consistent for me, didn't he? He is scoring a lot of goals for you. And you. I'm quite surprised Diaz is not there for you. No. It's a bit concerning. Marquana is up there for me. Elias, who I've just signed. La Passa and a couple of actually, a few of our players are actually up there in terms of the average rate, and we did quite well in that one. Uh, we're on Kaiser Chiefs, though. Can I retain the African Champions League? Oh, yes, I can. You have knocked me out of one competition here, though, Dad. That is a cup competition, which yep. you have knocked me out in the semi-final, so you've got some points coming your way, and I'm also runner-up in that one, too. Now, the MTN 8 is the competition I went on to win. Beat Sundowns in the final, so that's another three points, but seven points for winning the African Champions League against Generation Foot. Uh, uh, six nil on Africa in the end against the Senegalese side. Really happy with that one. How many times have they won that? They've never won it. Wow. You have now. Yeah. Twice. I should be a legendary manager already for you, to be honest, after that. I'm in the favoured person now. So is Zolani Williams. The 15-year-old. We'll have to check up on, his, uh, on how he's getting on in a minute. Let's have a look, though, on Dad's page. The competitions. How did you get on this season? Did you win anything? You did. Yes, get in. Two that I didn't. Yeah. Two that you won. We already knew you were knocked out by me in that competition. In the quarterfinals of the Champions League was where Zamalek knocked you out of that one. Which means, Dad, you actually beat me in a final. Yes, right time too. Yeah, 2-1 in that one. So you get three points for winning. You also get a point for beating me. And in this one, you beat Supersport United 2-0. So that's another three points. So six points you picked up there just from those two cups. Supersport. It's class, isn't it? It means a lot to me because the very first car I tried to buy, but I, I just couldn't afford it at the time, was a, a Fiesta Supersport. And I... Yeah. I actually loved the car. Yeah. I just couldn't save enough money to buy it before it got bought. Yeah. I was gutted when I got the money. Went down to buy it and the, the, the sales went, sorry, and we've sold it. I was absolutely <laughs> gutted. <laughs> uh, they haven't got Vauxhall Corsa, have they? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Uh, okay, so six points straight off the bat, Dad. Let's have a look at your squad. 30 goals there. For Mabasa, La Passa also got 21. You're yeah. scoring loads. Yeah. You are scoring a lot of goals. Which I, was, I was surprised with that tactic. I would score that amount of goals, so I'm pleased with that. Yeah. Your transfer budget for next season is just under a mil. Yeah. Still enough. You can definitely do stuff with that. Let's have I a look. I just had a bad running at the end. Of, well, I say I had a bad running. I still won two cups, so yeah. not too bad. But the running at the end of the season cost me the league, really. Yeah, I mean, your last out of your last four Premier Division games... You drew to Cape Town Spurs, lost to Barocca, which probably survived, made those, them survive. Those two games cost me the league, really. Yeah. Then you beat Sundowns. Yeah. And drew to Royal AM. <laughs> so, Bad I don't running. know. Bad running cost me the league. Yeah. So, let's have a look and see how Zolani managed to get on. So, Elias Mokwana was my top scorer after his bad injury. He came back into the lineup and got 32 goals, but I'm scoring a lot. Three players on 20 goals there, which That's I'm good. really happy with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zolani Williams... 18, 18 goals and 14, 14 assists. assists. 16 years old and he's almost my best player. 
I'm liking the look of Zolani. Let's go, Diddy. Very good indeed. Happy with that. Okay. Always check the development center because there could be some little stuff. There is. Fabul Sarah. There's another one. <laughs> and he plays in a position where we are already using him. I'll be bumping him straight into the first team. Fabo Sarah. <laughs> You're in trouble now, Dad. You're in trouble now. I've got two Youth Academy products coming through. Uh, do you have any knocking around? There's a couple in there. Oh, Keenan, Birchay, not quite there. Maybe with a little bit of... Uh, maybe. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Let's have a look at my transfer budget for next season. Eight million! Yeah, I don't expect money like this in the, uh, a lot of money in, that in you South buy, Africa. You can buy a new team for that. And the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Let's have a look at the points before we go on to season number four. Points for season number three is Omega Luke with 18 and Omega Dad with 10. Meaning the total points is Omega Luke with 47 to Omega Dad's 18. 47 to 18. There's a bit of a gap there, but again, you it's have two good years, and that's lot, it. Yeah, still a lot of points in it still. I'm not not out of it. I'm nearly out of it, but I'm not out <laughs> yet. <laughs> There's just so many points I've in this I've just got to beat you in the finals or so. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at what I spent my money on. So, so far, I've got a couple of free transfers. Well, I've got one free transfer that's come in there, uh, centre mid. But then the rest of it, can I just spend like one million or so on a couple of players here and there just to fill out the squad, really? A few South Africans coming in as well, but there we go. On to you, Dad. You actually signed another player from Sundowns. They can have another team, don't they? <laughs> why not? I mean, you did actually lose your goalkeeper. Yes. So, stealing theirs was probably a good idea. A good what well. was quite funny though was after dad stole their goalkeeper their number one target for the, the goalkeeper position was my third choice goalkeeper <laughs> i just kept rejecting it i was like now you're screwed so that, i don't know whether they managed to buy a goalkeeper now or what but i mean they're playing this guy in goal so <sighs> they're not gonna have a good year yeah so you bought their goalkeeper i've proper screwed him over by deciding not to sell him another one there we go okay so you actually sign a few more players though we've got cayman coming in here good cdm yeah Ocon, another center back another center back coming in with a bit of pace zulu coming in at right back looks my, like a good little my, new gen my biggest problem as well was the work permits yeah they just weren't they were telling me straight away you're not going to get a work permit for this guy he hasn't played enough international games or getting mm -hmm. points or whatever it is so it was annoying me <laughs> it took so long as well didn't it? I mean, oh god but Tell then i was knocking up so many players and it, if i can't get the work permit what do i do <sighs> find another one you've only got three out of the five foreign players in there but it's because the players that you were going for just couldn't even get work permits no. so it was, uh, whereas i think i've actually got more than enough i got one too many so i've had to deregister or unregister one of my players so you can't even play any games. Tactically then, Dad. I've gone attacking again. Three up front. I've got some good forwards in there. Um, so that's what I've gone for. Hopefully the midfield is strong enough. I've got three good midfielders in there. So I'm hoping that's strong enough to just defend what I've got. But yeah. Three good strikers. I'm happy with that. The Tinker Man strikes again. He's gone yeah. for his classic 4-3-3. Get yourself a Tinker Man t-shirt below. Good lineup of strikers up there. Pick yeah. up a few injuries though, aren't they? Yeah, did you? Yeah. I've got um, a few reserve strikers as well there, so not yeah. too bad. We've already seen the money that I spent, haven't I? Yeah, well, let's have a look at the tactic then. So I've actually nailed in that guy that we just seen not so long ago. Fabul Sarah, 18 years of age, because I think I think with a bit of game time, he could be unbelievable. So best 11 pick doesn't put him in there, but it does put Zolani Williams in there, which is quite great, to be so fair. Two are you front four, or 18 and 16? Yeah, something like that. 18 and... <laughs> what's, what's Zolani? He's 16, yeah. yeah, so quite hilarious, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, schedule wise though we've played each other again this time it was a draw so it's all down to that second leg uh, but we're actually playing each other in the league right again after as well I have already beaten Sundowns in that competition though and Elias Mokwana actually got himself a hat-trick in that competition. Uh, but we started off better than what we did last season. Yeah, you've had season. a good start this season, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. You can see Zolani's even scoring. Thabo Serra's got a couple of goals in this game here. So we're firing on all cylinders so far. Even got a 9-0 win in the league as well. So we're starting well. We're, we're starting very well, in fact. And then let's have a look at you, Dad. You actually haven't had a bad start, but you have picked up one loss against Supersport United. Yeah. 2-3, and but you also beat them 7-2 in the quarterfinal. <laughs> so inconsistency going on a bit there. Yeah, but is a bit. You are beating teams like 4-1, 2-1, so you're doing all right. You're still on to, to challenge for all of these competitions. Yep. So season number four, Come let's on, simulate I it. One. I need a big, big season. And see what happens. What are you in? Picking up wins in the league. I chased you the whole season. Well, I was second the whole it's, season. I was chasing yeah, you, but I wasn't catching you. 12 points <laughs> off. 
you 12 just, points. You just didn't slip up, did you? I mean, you didn't no. draw any games and you only lost two. Yeah, you were second the whole year, but yeah. it still wasn't close. I lost two games. One was against you. 4-0 as well. 4-0. Absolutely battered me, which yeah. kind of makes no sense. No. Uh, then I lost to Golden Arrows, who finished in fifth place. You lost four games. I beat you in the other game against Pretty each good. other. Yeah. I didn't draw a single game. 128. Um, Aquana got top scorer. You had the two top scorers underneath that, so he's a bit pacey as well. Like yeah. that, that young lad. And the pass is also there too. So, but I also had four. 14 clean sheets it's makes win. a big difference. It's what wins you the league. Yeah. Okay, we're on Kaiser Chiefs. It's another four points for winning the league, and that's four in a row. Can I make it three in the Champions League? Oh, I can! <laughs> another seven points. That's the cup that's done me every season. You, yeah. Were you winning it? You're just winning big seven points, didn't you? Yeah. But then you've gone and won the other two as well. Won the other two. You knocked me out of that one. Oh. The NTN 8. So you might have gone on and picked up some wins yeah. in that. Uh, but in the champ, I beat you in the final. I made the final and I lost again. Two legs as well. And I beat you in both. That's two points plus the seven. For winning it. For winning it. That's just a nine point win right there. Huge. That's the ones I've got to be winning. Yeah. Unlucky. Uh, Telecom knockout. I'm the winner of that one. Super Sport United in the final of that one. And the Ned Bank Cup. Cape Town City. So we didn't we didn't meet each other in the final of that one. No. Let's see where you went wrong. And did you win that other cup competition? You did. However, I knocked you out of both of the other ones. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Stop uh, getting to the other two finals and then beat me in the final. Hey, you had a nice 7 1 win against yeah. Cape Town C. I'm Thank trying you. not to gloat too much because there was a couple of comments the other day where it's like, oh, Luke is such a bad winner. <laughs> it's that what it is, isn't it? I mean, I, if I beat you in anything, I'll give, you, I'll give it back as well. Don't yeah, I? So you do. It's, yeah. it's all fun, isn't it? We don't he's mind sly, does it off camera? <laughs> <laughs> On camera, he's like, oh, well done. Respectable, though. Yeah, Good yeah. effort. Whereas I'm there like, hey, unlucky. And then off camera, That's what dads are for, isn't it? That's yeah. what dads are for, isn't it? Yeah, but off camera, you're a right nightmare. <laughs> get in, uh! He's like ruffling my hair, chucks my hat away. I'm like, go get it. So points-wise, that is a huge, huge swing in my favour there. 47 goals in 47 games. Your striker, though. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Yeah. 32 from the second, 23. I mean, this is... Exactly. This is like your dream. That's, that's league win inside. Yeah. Ishmael Diaz, that guy that you signed, 21 and 22. I mean, yeah. he must have missed a lot of games through injury. Yeah, he did. Out three months, both times that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So he'd missed six months of the season cost with a hip me, injury. Cost me the league, I did. <laughs> oh, that's cost me, cost me two cost me all those points. Cost me the Champions League. <laughs> I'm going to sell him next Yeah, season. I'll bet you will. Yeah. Let's have a look at mine then. So I got 50 goals from Mokwana in 52 games. 28 there from NG Kobo and Fabo Serra. 26 and 22. He might be better than Zolani Williams. Oh my God, he is. He's wanted though. Porto and Daman. No, I'm saying no to anything. He ain't got a release clause. Well, you got one season left, didn't you? Oh, you he's only got a domestic oh. release clause. You could have, you could activate that. I'm gonna try and get rid of that straight away. <laughs> okay, chance budgets 5.7 for me, 870k for you. Not too bad. Let's have a look at the points. Season four points are Omega Luke with 24 and Omega Dad with six. Meaning the total points going into season number five is Omega Luke with 71 and Omega Dad with 24. All right, Dad, going into the final year. Yeah, I think I'm out of it though. Yeah, I mean, that season four, I had the same amount of points as what you had in total. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I've had fun. You had fun? No, no. no. <laughs> my I'll, first I was thinking about lying then, but I couldn't. <laughs> it's on me face, isn't it? I'm enjoying my time in South yeah, Africa. Yeah. So I, I always have done whenever I've done a South African save. Uh, Luke Laurel was my first sign in here. Uh, 1.5 million pound. And then Keegan Johannes just picking up a couple of South African players because uh, I've got too many um, non-South Africans to be able to register them. Uh, 1 million pound since <laughs> Sundowns. I wonder how many players in, in our lineups yeah, we've got from got, Sundowns. It's got to be the, the whole first team that we've bought from really. Yeah, pretty much. I think they got one good Matibo, I think he's called, that I, I was almost going to go for. I thought, I'll let him have it. <laughs> Let's have a look at your side, though. So you've got a couple of players coming in here. You've got a left back, back coming yeah. in and Manfulo, who is a centre-back and a good one, too. And a young lad as well. Yeah. So. Six foot six he is, that. Yeah. Huge player from Supersport, 400k. That's what I mean by how cheap you can get him for. And then finally, one for 75k there, a good right back. Now, going into the lineups. You've changed it again. The Tinkerman strikes again. You've yeah. changed it just a little bit. Similar kind of, kind of 
concept, I'll just drop one player in the defensive midfielder because he is a very good defensive midfielder. So I just yeah. wanted to put him in his strongest position, really. Yeah. So that was all I changed, really. And the two new wing backs came, have gone straight in. So Yeah. And the new 19 year old centre back has gone in. He has indeed, yeah. yeah. Uh, what I do find funny about your side, though, is when you pick the best 11, the three strikers that you can see up there are all injured at the start of the season. We've got a cruciate injury there. He's out for three months. Uh, you got 11 to three weeks because he pulled his knee ligaments. And Mabasa is out for another three weeks as well. So Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> just, just what I needed. Ah, <laughs> oh, hilarious. I didn't go out to buy any strikers because I knew I had a good strike force. Bang. Yeah, I mean, Boy, Radio Pani, the one who scored 50 goals for you last season, he's the one that's got the, the worst injury yeah, as well. Yeah, he's the one I, oh, Cruciate ligaments. Worst, worst thing it could have happened to me, that was. Yeah, he injured so. himself in the final game of the season, I think. Been out for six well, six months in total. My tactics then. Sarah stays in on that lineup just to make sure that he plays every single game because I think he's probably one of my best players now. And when you do best 11, he doesn't go in there. And it makes no sense to no. me. So I'm locking him in there. And then schedule-wise for me, it's been very good indeed. We haven't played each other yet, but... I've even got a 10-1, a 7-0, 4-0. We're all looking gravy there. And Dad, yourself, you've been doing all right. You yeah. have Drew to Amazulu there. I've got a 10-1 in there as well. But you've got a 10-1 and an 8-0 against uh, Jabal FC in the African Champions League uh, qualifications. So, final season. Let's see what happens. Well, it's five in a row. No, it's not. <laughs> What a sore loser. <laughs> I finally come good. <laughs> Orlando Pirates. By a point. <laughs> By a point. Ruined my five in a row. That is a shame. Especially when you look at the goal difference and the goals scored and against. Yeah. I got 107 scored. Drawn. Only conceded 23. The drawn game's done you this time. Yeah. Just Drew a one three, point. that cost you. Oh, that's absolutely gutting. That might really affect the points. <laughs> Diaz was the top scorer of the league for you, Dad. Then you've got yeah. Mokwana there with 20. And underneath, Fabo Serra. There he is. 19 years old. Fabo really Serra good, and Zolani Williams are in the highest average rating. Uh, he's now 18. He is unhappy, though. Uh, wants a new deal. Oh, definitely. Get he's unhappy because he lost the league. Yeah, probably. Uh, I had 16 clean sheets as well, which is great. <laughs> Remember, you can get the save game file on the uh, patreon.com forward slash Gaming or on the YouTube channel membership page. So you can have a look at the tactics, steal the tactics if you want. But if you do decide to continue it, please let me know how Fabo Serra and Zolani Williams gets on. I'm really curious to find out. Okay, from that then, we're on Kaiser Chiefs. You might have ruined my five in a row, but did you ruin my four Champions oh, Leagues yeah. in a row? No, you didn't. Look at all the winners again. Man. Treble! Did knock me out of one. Telecom knockout. My you, you, are, you don't even know whether you've gone on a winner yet. Won it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the trouble. But the African Champions League. Again. Oh, ES Tunis on penalties as well, no less. After uh, almost throwing it away in the second leg there, 2 0. But I'm happy with that. The Ned Bank Cup, Cape Town City, 2 0. So another three points. Orlando Pirates in the final of that one, no. Uh, you beat me in the semi final of that one, no, Dad. And you did go on to win it. However, I just seen that I knocked you out of the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> across two legs both games as well so it's another two oh, points dear, oh, on dear. top of knocking you out of that competition three points in total there do you know when it comes to the the real big games that's where i lost the challenge i feel yeah the real big games are the finals or the semi-finals and, and it wasn't just you i was going against but the majority of the time it was yeah but i was losing those big games i was winning you in quite a few league games you was picking actually, up an odd yeah, point yeah. now and again but when you're losing the cup, you're losing, especially over two legs, and you win both legs. It's a lot of points I'm losing, isn't it? And then yeah, you go absolutely. on, and, and then you go on and win the Champions League. Yeah. Whereas when sometimes you have beaten me, you weren't going yeah. on to win it. No, well, you was, did that, was... but there was a couple of times where you lost. Yeah. You're the cup king, and you, know, you always have been. You yeah. always would <laughs> be. I can't come near you with cups. No. And that goes a pretty. I mean, this is the first time you've ever managed in South Africa. It was hard. It's that a tricky hard. lead to yeah, managing. Yeah. You need to kind of get the, the gist of what to do. And it's basically, I, I know what to do. You just sign the best players from other clubs. Well, I, I looked at it. I, I realised it in the first season. You signed, I think it was two over 30 year olds. My first three seasons, I wasn't touching anybody with a 30 year old, I don't think. Because mm. I, I was thinking, no, don't don't buy a player who was over 30. And I was trying to get rid of my 30 year old players. Yeah. I think you need to keep them, man. You can buy them. If they're good, buy them. They only might last you one or two seasons, but you get them in and they help you, don't they? And I, yeah. And I was looking for the young talent coming through as well. I got one or two. 
but there wasn't many around and, and like the work permits and all that but yeah I just couldn't get a grip of, of what players to buy at the time and it cost me badly I mean I, I, yeah. I, I feel like I'd, I'd done quite well because I chased you the most of the time I was coming second behind you all the time yes. getting to finals getting to semi-finals so I was doing well but like I said they already just know the big games the real big big games that you've got to win you won them and you scored the points mm -hmm. after that as well. You went on to win the finals and things like that. So, yeah. congratulations, yeah. You, you you deserve to win it, but I mean, you won the Champions League four times out of five seasons. Yeah, the only four times that I was in it as well. Yeah, so that alone deserves to win the challenge. I mean, that's that's it. I was signing players from Sundowns, from the best players from like Golden Arrows and yeah. stuff, putting them in. What you notice quite early on in South Africa is long contracts don't exist. No. Like the contracts are like two three years maximum yeah else players just don't agree it so yeah. you might as well just sign older players because yeah you just let them go i didn't want to do it at first no but it paid off and as soon as you've got a good player in there like a good youngster come through i mean this is easy there's two examples straight away in it you yeah. play them immediately yeah. because a 19 year old there is i could be one of my best players and the other good player is an 18 year old who i played when he was 15 yeah definitely yeah and now now my two best players in my side and scoring stupid amounts of goals and assists the other big thing is as well which you benefited from is, is winning that Champions League I mean we find this in, in, in the, when we play in Europe as well you win that Champions League you get a nice budget the next season don't you yeah and that's what you were getting I was getting 900,000 tops mm -hmm. you were getting two or three million and you can buy that next grade of player yeah one or two of them can you yeah and that's, that's where I was need. missing out yeah so yeah well done right. it was good it was fun it, I would say it was fun it was fun but it's not, not experience it in a new league is yeah, always fun yeah. but it's always yeah. going to be difficult yeah don't ask me to do it again, please. No. <laughs> you got your wish. Yeah, yeah. we've let done us, it. Been there, done it. Let us Don't stay in Europe till yeah. FM25, for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the points tally for the final time, because this, I think, is an Omega Luke versus Rebuild record. Yes, the season five points are Omega Luke with 17 and Omega Dad with 11, meaning the total points... And now, the highest record scoring ever in a Versus Rebuild is Omega Luke with 88 to Omega Dad's 35. That 35 would usually win it. Easily, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm pleased with 35 points. 34 <laughs> points is <laughs> normally I'm really good. Near you. you nearly beat me by three, to three times the amount. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, There's that's been a couple good. of times where I haven't even got into double figures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we got a new record to beat, 88 I, points. I don't think we'll ever beat that. There's not many leagues in the world that You've are You've got to come back to this league to do it again. Yeah, there's just so many games. The rush? <laughs> no, I think the only leagues where you, it's possible is like Brazil. Yeah. Because there's so many games against each other, etc. But yeah. Either way, let us know your thoughts and whether you enjoyed the South African rebuild. Thank you very much for everybody who suggests the stuff. And again, thank you to everybody who joins the Patreon or the YouTube channel members. Yeah, thank you very much. Dad to be yeah. here so we can do Probably fun videos like well, this. Yeah. Uh, make sure you push check the, out... Push the button as well. Yes, the push the subscribe button. Make yeah. sure you check out the new merchandise if you want to get yourself a Tin Command t-shirt or a Tin Command mug. The prices and everything is down below, so you can click on it, buy one if you wish, and when you do and it arrives, send us a picture. We'd love to see you in your either drinking your tea from your Tinkerman mug or picking up all the ladies with your Tinkerman t-shirt. Thank you very much for watching. Why don't you check out this video right here? Because Dad did a youth to gold. Oh yes, and it's amazing.